Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me Fujit. Hello. So today I want to have a look at the T57 Heavy. Now I like the T57 Heavy. I think it's a really fantastic tank. And sometimes, just sometimes, this tank is sort of playing second fiddle to the AMX 50B. And I want to see why that is. Because, as a tank, it's actually a really nice tank. So let's move over to Blitz Stars and try and get some overview at these two tanks. Now, as you can see, I've got the 57 Heavy and the AMX 50B loaded next to each other. Both tanks are heavy tanks. Both tanks sit at tier 10. One is obviously in the US tech tree. One is in the French tech tree. Now, automatically you can see that the firepower, as in the ammunition loadout, differs. With the 57 Heavy having a standard AP, a heat round and hesh, well, HE actually. Whereas the 50B has standard AP as its main ammunition, APCR as its premium ammunition, and HE. Now, looking at the DPM on the standard ammo, well, the 57 Heavy how DPMs the 50B. It also has better penetration. It has the same alpha damage. It has a better rate of fire, 7.62 compared to 7.33. It has a slightly slower reload that is the full clip reload the 50 the 50b having 18.57 and the t57 having 18.62 both doing shower bursts and that's the difference with the dpm by the way if you look at the 57 heavy it has 2.5 seconds in between shells whereas the 50b has three seconds they both have the same caliber and they both have the same shell velocity but that's on its normal ammunition now, if I shiver into heat, if I put the premium ammunition on, well, you can see, again, the DPM is better on the 57 Heavy. Same penetration, same alpha damage, rate of fire, still better in the 57 Heavy. Reload, still the same, 50B getting that because the interclip is still better. Caliber is still the same, but the shell velocity does change. Now, if we load up the HE, well, you can see there, DPM is still better on the 57. Penetration isn't as good. Alpha damage, still the same. Rate of fire, still better. Reload time, still in the favor of the 50B. Into shell, still the same. Caliber, still the same. Shell velocity uh, is the same. So there isn't much in it between these two tanks. Aim time of the 57 Heavy is also better than the 50B. But this is where the differences start to creep in. The dispersion on the 50B is much better than that of the 57 Heavy. Now, what is dispersion? Well, dispersion is, well, you've got the aiming reticle. Dispersion is how far it goes this way and that way. And you can see there with the 57 Heavy, it's 0 0.30. And with the 50P, it's 0.29. Now, that does make a difference, funnily enough. In fact, the 50B is far more accurate than the 57 Heavy. You can also see that the 50B has better gun depression and elevation. It also has much better speed than the 50B. I mean, the 50B is churning out 50 kilometers an hour, going forwards, 15 going backwards. Whereas the 57 Heavy, well, it's only churning out 35. That does make a massive difference because it means in the 50B, you're able to move around the map a lot easier than you are in the 57 Heavy. You can also see that the power to weight ratio and the effective hit, um, horsepower per tonne is also better. The terrain resistance, however, of the 50B isn't as good as the 57 Heavy, nor is the Traverse, nor is its camo profile. But, but, that speed makes it very, very good. And if you see there, its resistance on some ground, 2.3, is much better than the terrain resistance of the 57 Heavy. What about the credit coefficiency? Wow, the 57 Heavy earns more credit. In theory. But, and look at the armor. The armor of the 57 Heavy is also a lot better. Okay, AMX 50B has 100 more hit points, but it has a lot less armor in real terms. I mean, look at the turret armor there on the sides of the 57 Heavy, 145. The sides of the 50B is 50 and 30, and the back is 30 and the back of the 57 is 51. Hull armor, again, I mean, it's pretty, pretty solid compared to the 50B. 
So why is it that when you then roll down even further, the win rate, in fact, if you look at the 50B, it outshines the 57 Heavy in almost every respect, apart from the damage ratio. Damage ratio is better in the 57 Heavy, and the survival rate is also slightly better in the 57 Heavy. But aside from that, the 50B is hands down a much better tank, play-wise. And there are more players playing it. So why is that? This is what makes you think. So let's have a look at the armor profiles of both tanks. This is the 57 Heavy. And as you can see, front on, it's, well, there's, there's parts you can pen. You can pen here and you can pen here. But they're not easy shots. And when it goes all down, I mean, it's still pretty penable. So, I mean, front on, this tank isn't difficult to pen. But if the, if the person wiggles that turret, it sort of makes it even worse, and that's the thing. Now, this is much better than what you'll see with the 50B, not gonna lie. But the fact of the matter is, these open cheeks do make for you know, easy penetration. And, and this is the downside for the 57 Heavy. Apart from that, I mean, it's not a great side scraper, you can see. Hold down, well it hasn't really got massively great gun depression, only got eight degrees, so if you stick the eight degrees in, you're still gonna pen the front and you're gonna be able to hit the bottom plate. So on paper, it's looking like, well, it's not exactly great armor. But what happens if we then have a look at the AMX 50B? Well, this is the 50B, and as you can see, I mean, it's wide open. Um, you can pen almost every part of this tank. Okay, the bottom plate is a little bit better protected, but this thing does go haul down. It's got 10 degrees, so let's stick the 10 degrees in, stick it in a haul down position, and all of a sudden, you, that bottom plate is coming in. You've got a 55% chance, and the turret is still pretty, pretty open. So on the armor profile of the two tanks, again, it's looking like the 57 Heavy is the better protected tank. So again, why are people struggling in the 57 Heavy compared to the 50B? Now, I'll be honest, I actually like the 57 Heavy, but I also like the 50B. And they aren't exactly the same playstyle, but they are similar. Now, here I am on Middleburg, and I was gonna go up, but decided to go to the ACAP instead. And the thing I like about the 57 Heavy is that you can really bully in this thing much you can last the 50b i mean that was a stupid pull out by me and i get smacked for almost 900 losing a considerable amount of hp as as i do now in this game the reason i'm showing this game is i want to show you what the 50b is absolutely what well, sorry what the 57 heavy is capable of doing and it won't do it as well as the 50b that i admit but but you can get some really good plays in this tank so i'm going to wait here now yeah, okay our 50b is already complaining i'm going to smack the uh jaeger as he comes around he now bounces me for 800 i missed that shot i now need to reload admittedly it's a little bit stronger than the 50 it's a bit longer than the 50b but it's still a nice reload it's not too bad i'm going to be pulling back here a little bit trying to get into that vk but by the time i've loaded up the vk is going to move I can see that we are being flanked round on the A cap, you can see there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that position and I'm going to move around and try and help out around the A cap. We've got an IS-4 there, he's over committed and I'm going to have him side on now. One shot in, second shot a charm maybe, yeah down he goes. So we've taken out a tank, they've lost two tanks, we've lost no tanks, we've done 1500 damage, I'm going to say, oh can I get one into him, yes I can. Now I'm on my long reload again, so I'm gonna pull back. My tune mate, who's also in a 57 Heavy, is asking for assistance. I can see he's about to be rushed by the VK and the Yeageru. I'm not interested in the Yo anymore. I'm not as fast as a 50B, but what I have got is armor. Now, VK overcommitted, take another big hit from the Yeageru, but the VK overcommitted there, poorly timed push for him to, to an extent, and down he goes. My tomb mate is still alive. We are now toying here with the Yeguru. It's three against six. Scratch that, it's five against three. 
But we're in a good position. Now they've got three against four. We're still in a good position. Can I track him? Maybe I can. Yes, I can get a good roll into his tracks. Um, and then I make a mistake. I pull out too much. Try to snap the shot. Doesn't work. Yeguru is now fully loaded. Takes me out. But my Toon Mate takes him out. So my Toon Mate is also in a 57 Heavy. We did 3k damage there. We howled our little area. And that was the main thing. The game is over. And that is what you can do in a 57 Heavy. You can hold a corner. You can hold a line. And because you've got slightly better armor than the 50B, you can, when you want to be, be relatively aggressive. And that's why I like this tank. It isn't the same as the 50B. The 50B, you have to be very careful because, you know, you are wide open, realistically, armor-wise. Whereas the 57 Heavy, you can afford to be a little bit more aggressive. Now, I'm the first of the mirror. I'm not going to be setting the world on fire in this 57 Heavy because, you know, I'm not always looking for those big damage games and those golden M's. I'm looking to win and I'm looking at doing what I can, my role, in order to win. Sometimes that means I don't get the damage, sometimes that means I do. But as long as we win, that's all that matters. So here I'm being told off by our FV, don't push alone. I'm not, I have no intention of pushing, I have an intention of trying to get those early spots and using some of my turret armor. The top of the turret is, is quite uh, trolly. And my very limited eight degrees of gun depression to try and get those spots. And we do get a couple of spots. And we can see here that the Yo again is very aggressive. And I can see what he's doing. He's doing the right move. He's doing a move I would I would do, but he probably didn't expect a 57 Heavy to be there. Now he's lit up like a Christmas tree. I know that their TDs are in the corner. And I also know that two of their heavies, apart from the Yo, the IS-7 and the 60TP are down in the dip. The poor Yo is going to be bullied here. It's, it's straightforward, simple as that. And I fluff the shot on this one because he turns just in time, but I'm not going to fluff the next shot. And down he goes. So, 21 damage. Woohoo! For one kill. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now I've got a choice. I know their 183 and I know their grill are in that corner. So, I mean, now I've got the 183 asking me to spot. Yeah, right. But I know the grill's there, but I don't know roughly where he is. So I'm going to put a load of blind shots in over there. Hopefully one of them will tag him. Yeah, spoiler alert, none of them tag him. <laughs> yeah, I miss every single one. There's a badger. I mean, this is a fantastic shot. How I got his bottom plate there is beyond me. Thank you, RN Jesus, for shining down upon me. Now we have an IS-7 pushing. He really shouldn't be pushing. Um, I mean, he knows, or he should know, that there's a lot of tanks with their guns trained in this direction. I mean, he's just seen the yoke being disintegrated. So I'm going to push around the corner and put one into his bottom plate. There we go. There's the grill. Didn't touch him at all, but I was aiming in the right place. And this is a fluff shot, as you do. I'm going to carry on pushing round onto this IS-7, see if I can get one more. No, maybe not. I'm going to pull back. Wait for my tune mate in the FV to fully load, which he's done. Now I'm going to push round. I'm, going to tr I'm trying to bait that IS-7 out, which we do, allowing my teammate to take him down. Now I'm going to be on my reload, and what I'm after here is the 60TP putting a shot into me rather than putting a shot into my tune mate. So I'm going to bait him. That's, that's why I'm doing this. I'm purposely over-peaking to bait him. So pull one into his track. Can I get a third one? Oh, sorry, second one? Yes, I can. Can I get a third one? No, I get a bounce, but I'm not too un unhappy about that. My, my tune mate is still around me. He's still fully, fully healthy. Oh, that's a big roll from the FV. That just doesn't work. I think he used HE there. Grill overcommitted. Very silly move by the grill. He's going to go down in a torrent of hail of fire, and he does. And the FV doing the same thing, and also he goes down. So I did 2.3k, 2.5k. Sorry, I bounced 1.1. I haven't set the world on fire, but I've done my job. I've got up on the ridge. I've protected the ridge. I've held the corner. I've allowed my toon mate to do what he needs to do. And I get a second class then, maybe we already get a second class and you only got a third class in the other game, you did more damage. It's not always about damage, guys, to get these medals. It's about, you know, do you do tracking shots? Do you do spots and stuff like that? And as you can see, my toon mate, Fluffy Rigged, in the FV4005, he has a good game. Because what we're doing, we're trying to sucker those tanks, that IS-7, that 60TP, 
onto that big gun, all the time trying to get them to shoot me rather than shoot Fluffy. So this is the last game, and now we're on Black Goldville. Again, I'm tuned up with Fluffy Rigged in the FV4005. Now, I like Black Goldville. I think it's a beautiful map. And what I'm going to do is, well, something that most heavy drivers won't do. I'm going to go to the spotting position around the middle. Now, the reason I'm doing that is when I look at the team makeup, they've got a 60TP, an E100, uh, and a meal, and uh, three TDs. I'm expecting their TDs to be parked in the TD spot. I'm expecting their heavies to go towards the C cap. I always thought that the T100 was going to come this way, and he does. I get one into him, and he's now just going to be a pain in my backside. Unfortunately, they are not overly committing on that C flank. So as much as I would love to get shots across to them, they're not committing, and I'm not able to. The T100 puts one into me. I mean, I can take the 250 from him. He'll probably put another one into me as I try and hit this waffle tractor and completely fluff the shot. There's the E100. Why the E100 is parked over there is beyond me. Their grill is already gone down, courtesy of my toon mate. The, E100, the T100 is now pushing. Um, I still can't get shots onto that C cap. The T100 is pushing. He's going to try and take down the T92, which he will do. He will get the T92 most likely out of the game. But... In fairness, he's doomed. He is not going to survive this push. And he was in a great position. And what he did, he tunneled onto a kill and it backfired for him. Admittedly, he hasn't got much support. I mean, he's got an E100 set it back. Down he goes. I'm going to come around now and try and put shots into this E100. Again, I want him to look at me rather than looking at my toonmate. You can see where my toonmate is. He's in the spawn. I'm trying to bring his gun round. And he smacks me, which means he's now on a long reload. I can put two into him. And hopefully, my toon mate, who's in a big tank with a big gun, will be able to finish him off. And this is what I'm trying to do. Again, I'm not trying to do these big damage games. I'm trying to make sure that guns are on me, not on my toon mate. And again, it worked. The toon mate takes down the E100. Now we're going to push round, because I know they're concentrated around this side of the map. I've already seen the Waffle Tractor down on the other side. I don't know where the TP is. There's the Emil too. Now he's going to make the mistake of pushing out. He shouldn't do that. He fluffs his shot. I'm going to be able to put another one into him. And maybe third time is a charm. He bounces that one. And down he goes. We've done now 2.2k in damage. Again, I'm not setting the world on fire. But I'm doing my job. I'm doing the role that I'm meant to be doing. I am trying to use a heavy tank as you should. And this is why I like the 57 Heavy. Don't get me wrong, I love the 50B. I absolutely adore the 50B. But I also like this tank. And I think, you know, the armor on this tank gives you slightly different prey style than what you would get with that 50B. Let me finish off the 60. 2.2K, 1.1 bounced. We've got two kills. And we win the game. And that is the whole purpose of the game. It's to win. It's not to lose. It's not to draw. It's to win. And if you are just tunnel visioned and focused purely on those gold masteries and those massive damage games, then, okay, it's not going to be as straightforward as you think. And you will overcommit and you will do things that you shouldn't need to do. And you will come unstuck. It's as simple as that. So that has been my take on the 57 Heavy, a tank that sometimes is playing second fiddle to that bigger brother it fears, the AMX 50B. Now don't get me wrong, I mean both tanks are beautiful, and the 50B clearly is a much liked machine. But this one also really should be in the same sort of ballpark as the 50B. And whilst there are more players with this tank, it always seems to me that this one is taking a back seat to the 50B. Yes, the tournament and the pros like the, the 50B. Why? Because it's got that slightly quicker reload. It is a situational tank. It doesn't have the armor of the 57 Heavy, admittedly. But where the 50B really does shine and overtake its, its, its American cousin is the speed. I mean, this thing just doesn't have the mobility that the 50B has. And that's probably where a lot of players are struggling. They're probably struggling with that 
moreover than its better gun because the gun is marginally better and that's a shame really I mean if this thing I mean this thing is heavier than a 50B so it, it's hardly surprising that it's slower but I like the 57 heavy and you know if you've got it in your garage and you've been toying with the idea of going out with it just remember it's not a 50B doesn't have the same mobility as a 50B but it's still a beautiful beautiful tank and you can still churn out a lot of damage in this in this thing I mean I like the tank I think you know it, it's one of those tanks that really will in the right hands and played the right way and allow you to certainly get your win rate up anyway I've been Fuji by all means comment and like and everything below because I want to hear your thoughts on the 57 Heavy because I love the tank that has been my take on the 57 Heavy and I look forward to hearing from all of you until the next time guys stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about having fun and being happy